found this thing kicking around at the office. Um, there was a bit of a cleanup going on and somebody was tossing it out, so I decided to grab it. What it is, is a little USB powered cup warmer with presumably a little hub built into it. So I figured I'd grab it and tear it apart. But first, let's just, uh, let's use this power supply here and just see how much it actually draws. I don't want to draw down my computer. So I got it set for five volts, got current limiting set way up. So on, okay, so right now just idling, just these two, or this LED lit. It's drawing 14 milliamps, so I'll turn it on. And it's, is that 530 milliamps? That's not much actually. And I can actually feel it getting warm. It always surprises me when these USB powered heating things really create heat because like, like this USB soldering iron that I got a while back, that was surprisingly you know, functional. Uh, and this thing, yeah, it's, so it's hot there and over there, but not so much over here. Hmm. Obviously I'm not going to put my drink on it because I don't want my beer to get hot. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, so it does what it claims to, be, to do. Let's see if we can actually get into it here. Obviously, yeah, the rubber feet hide two little Phillips screws, and there's two more in these front holes here. No surprise about that. There's always mounting screws hidden under rubber feet or under labels. If it doesn't come apart with these four screws, I'm going to suspect that that little black label there has something hidden under it too. But the label says... USB hub and warmer, four port to USB 1.1 hub, uh, five volt input, uh, 500 to 1000 milliamps. Hmm. 2.3 watts, 2.5 watts. So well, it was just over 500 milliamps. So I guess that's legit. Comes apart fairly easily and more screws. Okay. Oh, those are teeny tiny ones. Where's my teenier, tinier Phillips screwdriver? Will that do it? Will that all do? Let's get into there. What are we seeing? A blob chip, which is no doubt going to be the USB hub controller. Hub, yeah. So here's the two LEDs out on these two little arms, two little uh, square or rectangular LEDs. Okay, so there's the back of the heating plate with a couple of blobs of heat sink goo on it, which are still nice and liquid. You can see that kind of schmeary schmear. Okay. So that's good, I guess. And what do we have on this side? Let's get in a little bit closer. Not that close. So we have a couple of LEDs, a couple of resistors, which no doubt are in series to said LEDs. Capacitor in the middle. What's it doing? It looks like it's related somehow to the USB controller blob. Little... 104 ceramic capacitor, and a DC 5 volt power input jack, power on off switch, and the four ports for the hub. And then the business part here these two little heating elements, whatever they are, hidden in in uh, heat transfer goo and held up by these little plastic thingies. Mm, do I have something to wipe the 
goo off those. Those are just resistors. Those are just little quarter watt resistors being tortured into putting up heat. Well, wonder what they are. I'm going to guess that with the switch off and nothing plugged in, I should be able to measure the resistance across them. They might be in parallel. But those are... That one says 9 ohms. Let's just see. One of them's on there. Which is marked as ground. You can't see that one there. That's marked as ground. So I, initially I thought that the case of these shell of these was the... No, it isn't. Okay. Uh, so, and then that's jumping. Yeah, so these two resistors are in parallel. What did I say they were? Nine... Nine ohms for the pair of them in parallel. Which means they're twice that 18 ohms, so... Probably 20 ohms, really. So that's, that's your heat source, just tortured resistors. Interesting and goofy. I don't know if I want to use it as a USB hub. Um, I certainly won't want that 500 milliamps being drawn out of my computer, that's for sure. Um, hmm. Well, let's, let's just disable those two heating resistors and then we should be able to plug that into the computer we got some power showing on the LED turning that on actually is that just turning on the resistors it is oh okay so I didn't really have to disable them this way you uh. Yeah, where was I? Okay, I didn't really have to disable them this way because that switch does it. So that's powered into my computer now. And with that plugged into my computer, I'll plug in the USB memory stick there. And nothing happens over at the computer. Plug into a different port. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. Is there even any voltage? Hang on. Is there even any voltage coming out of these? Okay, so they do function. But probably the the USB hub controller is smacked. Oh well. Just to prove that this USB stick actually works. There we go. Playing music off the USB stick. So obviously that works. Okay, well, that was not too much going on inside there, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Of course, as is the way with a lot of cheap electronics, the interesting part is just hidden under a blob of epoxy that nobody can get into. It's an interesting cable. It looks like it's actually shielded, doesn't it? It's really just a bit of foil inside there, but... Now that I've got those resistors cut out, let's see what they are. Eighteen, twenty, depending on how I... Nineteen, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much what I guessed. So a couple of eighteen to twenty ohm resistors in parallel. Across the... straight across the five volts, there's your heating. Just heats a couple of spots on there. Interesting little novelty. It was a giveaway for to somebody in our office from 
Should I promote them or not? Autonet.ca, whoever they are, if they even still exist. Well, that was fun. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you checking them, checking in, see what I'm up to in my shop. If you have any comments or questions, down in the comments section. I will. Talk to you later.